get the Girl Scout, everybody out. Cookies, I'm on that man, so I don't speak nothing PC. I'm fly, flow, crack, pizza, nosebleed. Jesus is my hate man, God did me right. These ain't these, but these. See, sitting right. This Ooh. ass is me, no booty, top, booty pop. No need, got supplied it for free. Yes, a girl, I was more easy, baked and ball beat. Blow face, catty bitches will get noodles and stay if they get in my way. Have fun within the building and you listen to spade. Yeah! Holla at your boy, you already know what it is, your boy Hot Rod, a.k.a. Mick Swag, going real hard right now, you know what I'm saying? Big shout out to my peoples, Spate Magazine, let's do it. Holla at my peoples at spatemag.com, keep it locked. Your boy Hot Rod, man, a.k.a. Black Bieber, you feel me, a.k.a. Gangsta Gaga www.spateradio.com Keep it locked Yeah, yeah, yeah You are now tuned Into Spateradio.com And today is May 4th A rainy day New York City What's going on, Miss Texas? Hey, how you doing, Antoine? What up, Spate Radio listeners? What's going on? Oh, uh, man Uh a lot of stuff going on, man, especially in the news. But um, today uh, we should have uh, the homie, uh, Black Frost, calling in. Um, this may be her on the line right now. Uh, let's see. Hold on one second. Say radio. Who's on the line? 813, what's going on? Who's on the line? Oh, SNL Tampa, a Black Frost fan. Oh, okay. Um, ho- hold on one second. Hey, hello? Hello? Spade Radio, what's going on? Hello? Oh, Spade Radio, you on the line? Who's this? Still SN. Oh, okay. Spade Radio, you on the line? Who's this? Black Frost? Is this, this is Black Frost. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's going on, mommy? Uh, everything. How y'all doing? I'm good. I'm good. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Most definitely. It is a pleasure to be doing this. You know, I follow all all of y'all companies. <laughs> the public, <laughs> the, the model, <laughs> the, the, uh, <laughs> wait, I gotta get them all. Wait, the, right, the magazine, the media, the TV, the film, the tunes, you know, y'all doing it big, so I do appreciate it. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. Up, man. We appreciate it. <laughs> Um, we we got my co-host High Def on the line. Let me just introduce you guys real quick. Hey, What's up, High Def? Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Yeah, get That's it what's in. Huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm driving. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm away to the session. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to go in. <laughs> So, so the, for the people that aren't familiar with uh, you, you know the Black Frost movement. Maybe, maybe you could tell us a little bit about it. Well, um, my name is Black Frost, a.k.a. the Beauty and the Beast, Ugh, for those of you who don't know. I rep 24-7. Um, I am a songwriter, artist. I am the vessel for women, for opportunity, for truth. You know, I am music. I am art. I just, I do what I do. That's what's up. Um, so uh, we were hearing some, some really good things, man, like there, there might be something in the works or like a big movement about to happen, man. Um, yes. I don't know if, you, if you're if you ready to talk about it or, you know, maybe you could tell the people about it a little bit. Okay, well, I can't give too many details, but um, it's all over Twitter anyway right now. Yes, I am 24-7 Convict Music. Shout out to Akon. Uh, the situation happened a few weeks ago, actually, and um, it's been such a blessing. I'm, I'm still coming off of my high of just, wow, it's, it's finally happening because, you know, I've been grinding for a very long time. But um yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be big. Watch as I enter the scope. Stay tuned. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> so that's what's up, man. That's big. Um that's that's real big, man. Akon with the Lady Gaga and all the other stuff yeah. that he got going on. That's a major thing right there, man. And um the best of luck with that. Thank you so much. Yeah, all blessings, no luck, luck runs out, blessings are forever. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so 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 what do you we we got we got the lines are blowing up. Right, we we're gonna get to you guys in a second. All right, so um you know stay on the line. Um, 
what are you working on now as far as music? I'm working on a few different projects all at once. Um, we are going to release a, another mixtape. It's kind of got. It's kind of going to be like a best of mixtape series because um, I have three mixtapes. The, the Beauty and the Beast, um, all hosted by Canon, Drama, Sense, shout out to the Phillies and everybody. Um, but my first two mixtapes were really not able to be promoted the right way because of um, business situations and contracts and whatnot. So we're going to release uh, another mixtape that's going to be the best of the uh, volume, excuse me, the best of the Beauty and the Beast series, as well as some new songs. And I'm also going to do like a five to seven song EP, like a album preview as well. So um, I just I can't wait for you guys to hear the new music. All of my fans they constantly asking me for new music, but since this new deal, um, I haven't been able to just leak stuff like I used to. So, um, but stay tuned. You know, we have stuff coming. I'm actually about to go and blaze that Ace Hood hustle hard. We're doing like a convict remix type thing, so that'll be out real soon. Y'all look out for that. But yeah, and you know, I'm gonna send my music to y'all as soon as I got it. So, <laughs> it's all good. Great. Great. We we got we got a couple of callers on the line. Let's um let's get to them uh before they hang up now. <laughs> uh what's, what's going on? Three oh one, what's up? We got Black Frost in the building. Oh, hello? Yes, you on the line. Oh hey, oh this is Ashley. I just wanna say what's up. What's up, Ashley? Ashley, huh? for those of you who don't know Ashley, she's like my biggest, biggest supporter. She started my first official web um fan site. So shout out to Ashley. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I just wanted to call in because I wasn't even supposed to be home, but I just wanted to make sure to show love and all of that. How are y'all? Okay. Good. Okay, great. We're doing great. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Glad the weather, you know, cleared up and all of that. Okay. All right. That's what's up, man. We definitely appreciate you calling in. We're going to get to a couple of other people right now, all right? Thank you. Bye. 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 Hey, one three, what's going on? You on the line? What's up? Hey, Foss, this is SNL Tampa or Danielle. Uh, hey, Danielle, what's up? Nothing much. Just want to show my love and support for the girls club. Even though I'm a Chanel fan, I still love my Frost and D Woods and Mika Means and all of you guys. Shout <laughs> <So I talk laughs> out to the girls club. Yeah, that's what's up. Thank you. No problem. Can't wait for the new music. Congratulations on the sign and everything. Just. Blessings and many more coming. Thank you. Definitely. We appreciate you calling in, Mommy. No problem. All right. Talk to y'all later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you got a big support <laughs> team in. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate it all, man. Big and small. It's all appreciated. I love them all. They, I call them my BSS, my Black Cross fans, and they really they keep me motivated. So, you know, I appreciate it. That's what's up. Six. Six seven eight. What's going on? You in the building? What's up? Who's on the line? All right, so we're gonna put them on hold. Maybe they didn't hear me. All right, so um, let's let's get back to uh. So when did you start uh doing the hip hop thing? Oh man, I've been I've been in like into music all my life, but actually, you know, I actually started off as a writer. I um when I was like eight, I wrote my first book, and then I went from books to writing scripts and screenplays. I went from that to actually writing R and B and pop, and rap was the last thing that I start you know trying out. And um I I worked with this DJ, and he just told me like you have you have a special gift for that, like you should really stick to that. So I just you know started taking it serious and um I guess around the ages of you know 15 16 you know I started taking it real serious and making my own mixtapes and selling my CDs out the trunk and <laughs> doing doing everything that I had to do because you know I was in Alabama and it's not much opportunity there so I had to you know do everything that I could to make a name for myself you know that's why I moved to Atlanta so you know music is just it's always been a part of me okay all right we're going to take another call here um 504, what up? What's going on? What's happening? It's John right Who's here. This? It's John. What's happening, John? <laughs> what's up, Fawn? What's up? Nah, I just want to say what's up. Proud of you, all the convict stuff. You already know I'm repping it hard. About to get, about to get the tat on my neck. You already know. <laughs> you said you're going to get a tat on your neck? Convict 24-7 tat on my neck just for you. <laughs> <laughs> do that. We're gonna blast you on all the videos. You know, I, I appreciate you so much, John. You know, you you're like number one supporter. 
appreciate you. Uh, you really got to do that to me right now? You got to do that. You got to be doing that to me. <laughs> I have a song called Dominatrix with the Girls Club, and, and, and I do an accent, and, and John loves the accents, for those of you who don't know what's going on right now. But, um, no, she tells me. She, she makes wow. my heart glow with that. Wow, man. Wow, that's crazy. Um, But um, thanks for calling in, man. We definitely appreciate it. No, no problem, dude. Thanks, man. No problem. All right. Um, wow. <laughs> uh, we we still got a couple of other callers, but I, I still got a few more questions also. <laughs> okay. Um uh, what what producers are you wearing? Oh, wait, 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 I def, I'm sorry. Um I, before I ask all the questions, you have a, a question for um Black Frost? I def, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I was um, checking in for today. You know, usually people call in a little bit late, but um, I was just checking in. I wanted to give a shout-out to all the Spate Radio listeners, shout-out to Black Frost for calling in today. But I'm going to have to be short today because i got to get on the airplane to Miami in the morning. So I'm picking up some stuff and doing a little stuff with my sponsor before I leave. So um, shout-out to all the mothers and all the fathers that had to step up to be mothers. Happy Mother's Day. I know I can't say it. Um on Mother's Day, but um, I just want to give a shout out to everybody. <laughs> okay, all right. So, um, tell, tell the people where you're going, real quick. You know, so um, we still we still got uh, Black Frost on the line, also. Yeah, um, I'm going to Miami to the Core DJs retreat, and like that's the trending topic right now on Twitter, and um, okay, it's gonna be crazy. Um, we're having <laughs> pool parties, and the bike's gonna be the the um. They're going to have the boxing on pay-per-view and everything like that, and NFL players, NBA players, a lot of big-name people. It's over 980 DJs that already, like, confirmed of going. So it's going to wow. be crazy. I'll make sure to we have fake radio, fake media, all, all kind of fake there. So so they'll know who the hell <laughs> fake is, but they don't know. <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, Bobby. That's what's up. But, um, uh, so, so, Frost, so, like, what, what producers are you working with right now? Um, I've worked with a, a few different producers. Right now, my, my main producer is Sunny Digital. Shout out to Sunny Digital. Y'all follow him at Sunny Digital. If you don't know, he's the producer behind the new hit Racks on Racks on Racks on Racks on Racks. <laughs> um, Watch the future. And, um, you know, everybody's doing that joint now. Um, he's also... Um, does some stuff with Future and a few other big people that he has coming up. So Sunny is my, my main producer, but shout out to uh, M16, um, Trust You. Um, I, I've worked with so many people, I don't want to leave anybody out. But, but yeah, shout out to Akon. You know, I, I got some, some records over his his beats as well. So I'm, I'm working with a lot of producers. You know, big names, small names, it doesn't matter. I just, I love music. So that as long as it's hot, you know, I'll fuck on it. Okay, all right. So is... Are you like, because uh, we get a lot of producers that listen to the show, so um, are you like accepting beats from producers? Like, do you have like an yes. email address or something? Yes, okay, I'm so definitely I will, accepting music. Okay, so do you want to give out your uh, the email for beats or something? Yes, you guys can email beats to the Bang Village. That's T H E B A N G Village, V I L L A G E at gmail.com, thebangvillage at gmail.com. Send all your hottest stuff, yo, because, you know, I'm a writer as well, so I, I do material that ain't even for me, so just send some hot stuff. Okay, that's what's up, man. We, they, I'm sure they're going to hit you with a, a, a lot of uh, music there, <laughs> mm-hmm. most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so um, are, are you any interest besides um, outside of music? Yes, um, as I mentioned before, you know, I, I'm very, very heavy into screenwriting. So um, I have a few oh. projects, um, TV show pitches, sitcoms, realities, and whatnot that we are um, looking to get placed for the next um, fall season. So blessings uh-huh. on that. I hope that works out. Um, a few books, you know, um, just it, I'm really doing more writing projects right now um, besides the music. So I really don't have time for, you know, anything else because I got to give 100% of myself to the world to take advantage of this moment, you know. But I'm definitely um, looking to do a lot more things outside of the music. Okay. All right. So um, we definitely appreciate you calling in. Um, let me see if we can get into another caller real quick. What's going on? 678, what up? 
Who's this? Uh, all right. <laughs> we got a six right, seven eight ATL representative that is slow. <laughs> Yeah, it, <laughs> exactly. We gotta we gotta keep it moving though. Um, yeah. I got a, I got a song with you mm-hmm. and uh, called uh, Hula Hula Hoop. Tell tell me about that a little bit before we play it. Hula Hoop Hula Hoop is the summer anthem. It's like you know every every their songs you know dance songs everywhere, but they're all by dudes. Like there's no female dance songs. Like we got the Dougie, we got the we had the Superman, we had the the stinky leg. You know what I'm saying? So ladies, when we want to be sexy in the club, you know we get our hula hoop on. So it was a fun record. It was like actually kind of song that I I don't normally do, and um I was really just playing around with it, and it turned out hot. The producer on that is Marvelous Jay. He worked with everybody, Mariah Carey, all kind of people, and um it came out a hot record. We got a bunch of different remixes. Shout out to Mr. Fab on the West Coast. He did a, a West Coast remix version for me, and um yeah, we're gonna be doing a video to that soon. So. Hula hoop. That's what's up, man. It's a it's a hot record. So um, thank you. All right, so you know, uh, basically tell you know, uh, we definitely appreciate you coming on the show. So maybe um, tell the people where they can find you, and then mm-hmm. introduce your song Hula Hoop, and then you know we'll take it from there. We'll we'll get it playing for them. All right. Well, you know, I want to give a big shout out to State Radio, State Magazine, definitely. State Media. <laughs> Stay tuned, um, and I, I want to give a big shout-out to all of my fans, my supporters. Thank you for following me and supporting me throughout all of these years. Our journey has finally came to the point that we've been waiting for. I'm about to go hard. Watch me. Stay with me. Um, look out for my new single, Hookah, and get ready to listen to that banging joint hula hoop on State Radio. Uh, just signed with uh, Akon. Um, I'm sorry. 
Yo, for those for those that aren't familiar with the with the name, man, maybe they could you could tell them what you do a little bit. Oh uh, well, you know, I have a consulting company. Uh, first and foremost, A and R Consulting Company, but I started off 1992 Suave House with Tony Draper. Um, okay. You know, eight, eight ball MJG T La Crime Boss. You know, so you know we've been in the business yeah. for a long time, man. You know. Okay. So All good. right. So um. <laughs> so so tell the people about um you know what you got going on with um with your with your um uh, tent music management. Well, well, tent music management. I, I started that company for producers, writers, and artists, man, who really need some help coming from the studio and getting it into the right hands and, and and for the artists that need some guidance, man, because it's one thing to create great music, but if nobody hears it or the, or the right person don't hear it, then it's a waste. You know what I mean? So, yeah. and now, now record labels are not, they're not bringing up the artists the way they used to. They're not mm-hmm. spending time with the artists because they, there's not the budget uh, anymore like they used to be. And there's just so many things that's different now. So, uh, music management kind of Picks up where they left off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And also too, also too, if you don't mind me saying, I have a um, a showcase coming up in the ATL June 18th. Um, Lenny S is hosting it from Def Jam. Um, Rick Morales from Shady, and my man Lo, who's a dope, dope, dope writer. Um, it's gonna be real hot. June 18th ATL at the W Hotel. Um, my website is skonosepeople.com, S-C-O-E, nose, K-N-O-W-S, people.com, and all the info is on there. So, so you know, just trying to give artists, man, an opportunity, a real a real good look, man, and, uh, you know, let them do their thing. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up, man, most definitely. Um, so, uh, you know, like – I mean, we're talking about music and everything, so how important is establishing a fan base, but, you know, before you get signed to, like, a major deal? You know, how important is that right now? It's very important. It's extremely important because now, you know, going in with a fan base and a following makes it easier for a label to sit down and consider you. Um, You know, the independent game is dead. You know, you're you're not selling records independently no more. You know what I'm saying? Only time it's good to get out there and, and market yourself is it's only because you want to get your name hot and get your buzz up. But those days when artists could sell 50,000 records and, you know, bring home $300,000, that's over with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because we, we started the independent push. And, and you know, Swap House did it first, baby. You know, we was doing 250,000 records solely independent, getting $9 a record in 92. You know, wow. at, at, and and we we were the first label to sell a half a million not a half a million <laughs> records twice in the same year. You know, with Ball and G coming out hard. You know, on the outside looking in. So when we say the independent game gone, it's gone because <laughs> we didn't we didn't see things change so much, man. And and now with the with, with the way things are, if you don't have a buzz and you don't have no relationships directly with somebody. Yeah, man, it's going to be a very, very long battle for you. You know, relationships, hands down, is the best move for any artist or producer. Okay. You know? so, yeah. Okay, so, for, for, so uh, Frost, how do you feel about that? How, how important is it for an artist to build a, a fan base before they, before they get signed? It's very important. I agree with Bo. It's, um, it's very important that you're able to connect with your fans before a major label comes in with, with their whole staff because that way at least your fans are getting to know who the real you, you know, who is the real artist before the marketing teams come in and try to make you into something that maybe you're not. So it is very important to have supporters and followers and people knowing your name and having a buzz. Cause it, and then once again, it also makes it easier just to promote yourself once you have that situation. So it is important. Okay. I agree. All right. So- all right, most definitely. So, um, Frost, you have any events coming up, like any shows or anything like that you want to tell the people about? Well, we are going to um, be listing all of my uh, upcoming show dates and appearances on the website. And um, right now I do have a appearance that I'm going to be doing back in my hometown. So I thought to my Alabama representatives, if they're online or listening, um, I will be in Alabama May 21st. 
um, doing a, an, an appearance for a party. But um, after these, I think it'll be next week that my manager told me we'll be able to list um, all of my upcoming shows. So make sure you go to www.blackfrostfans.com because all of the information will be there. Okay, great. But we definitely appreciate you calling in, and uh, we, we definitely want you to hit us with all the new music and everything that you got coming up. I definitely will. All right, thank you. All right, thank you, you guys. Y'all have a blessed weekend, and I also want to say happy early, happy Mother's Day to all of the moms, and once again, shout out to uh, State Radio, and next time I'll be on State TV, all right? <laughs> yeah, most definitely, most definitely. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, take it easy. All right. So um all right, so um so for for artists trying to, to come up in the game right now, what are what's one of the, the things that's most important that what what's the first thing they should be doing for a new artist? You know what, bro? You know, I've always been known for keeping it one hundred and, and, and I have to do that at all times, man. If you are artist and and you trying to get in this music business you're going to have to have a whole lot of luck. You're going to have to be dope, and you're going to have to have a whole lot of luck, and you're going to have to know the right people. All of those mm-hmm. components is going to have to be in place at the same time. You know what I mean? Just like just like yeah. I tell anybody, it's, it's five to six labels out there that's really, truly uh, signing artists these days, and it's a million artists out there. Everywhere you go, you know, you see somebody that's just wanting to rap or be a producer, and what has happened, man, with, with the with the piracy, with, with the Internet, it's, it's really ruined the game, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, at, at, least, at, least for, at least for now, you know, because mm-hmm. the industry is still trying to figure out how they can make money um, with how things have changed. So with that being yeah. said, when the, labels, when the labels are cutting down on their budgets, they're cutting down on a, how much they're putting artists out. So yeah. now you have you have this overwhelming surge of artists coming from everywhere, but you only have a few outlets for them to go to, and that's why yeah. I stress to them, bro. If you have a real opportunity to sit in front of somebody or get in front of somebody that have that that button they can press and make them things happen for you, then take advantage of it because those days of walking in the mall and and Jermaine Dupri seeing you and having you rap and then signing you and or Tony Draper or Puff seeing you sing in the lobby like Jodeci and all those days is gone, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. so you know, the industry is still trying to figure out how to survive right now. You know, um, yeah. you know. So that's kind of my answer to that. You know, in a short form, it's hard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So, um, is there anything else you're working on besides the um the website, uh, temp, uh, music management? Any any other projects? Um, not right now because that pretty much has my plate full. Um, I'm doing the showcases once a month in the A. Um, okay. I'm bringing in uh, it's hosted by Lenny S, Vice President A and R Death Jam. He's the key speaker. He'll be there every month, and I'm bringing in two other A and Rs to sit with them different every month. So. That's something big that I just started, man, and um, you know, I'm very excited about it because Atlanta now is the black LA. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And and everybody yeah. that comes here, they either want to, you know, be an actress or actor, or they want to be an artist. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just think it was appropriate for me to set something up like that here. You know, every month to give people a really, really legitimate, great look. You know, um, so that's pretty much what I've been working on, man. It's just trying to make sure these artists are prepared. And making sure that when they, if they do get an opportunity, you know, they go in there, you know, cocked and loaded. Okay. All right. That's what's up. So, um, I got, uh, you know, a question like that's music related, but it's kind of off topic a little bit. It's, um, mm-hmm. when it comes, when, when it comes to the present artists right now, is this, mm-hmm. which, uh, which artist that blew up surprised the hell out of you? Like when, when you heard, that, when you heard that they had that big record or when you heard that they blew up or, they they had all these fans. Who who which artist surprised you? What artist surprised me that just blew up out of nowhere? Yeah. Uh, let me think, brother. What artist <laughs> blew up? You know, lately lately there's not too many artists blowing up. But I tell you, <laughs> who blew up a, a couple of years ago with that Laffy Taffy song? Cause I thought the song was the wackest song ever. And and. Uh, <laughs> 
you know, the shit blew up, you know, and but that it taught me a valuable lesson back then. Mm-hmm. Don't mm-hmm. never take in the music business, you may not like it, but you have to understand it. You see yeah. what I'm saying? You know, I didn't like the record. It never get no play in my ride, but it sold a lot of records and it got it made made them guys a lot of money. So I, I would never knock it. But those guys stand out in my mind more than anybody because I think that was a terrible song. But I understood it. <laughs> I understood it and it and it made those young guys, you know, a better lifestyle. So anytime, you know, sometimes I have clients that come to me and they say, So, you know, um, how does such and such get a deal and I don't have a deal and I'm doper? Well, I don't agree with this and anybody that is making a living and feeding their children off of something they love doing, no matter how whack they are or no matter how I feel personally about their music. So, yeah. you know, if it helps you make a living and feed your child and, and get your mother out the projects, then, man, I love the record. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Yeah. So, um... So I mean, so if somebody wants to uh, contact you and and you know and and talk to you and get some you know consulting on um their branding and everything, how can they contact you? Um, my number is four zero four five five six twelve ninety six. That's my cell number. If they want to get into um the showcase, again the website is Skull Nose People, S C O E K N O W S people.com skonosepeople.com and then tempmusicmanagement.com it's it's spelled just like it sounds temp t e m p music management.net excuse me tempmusicmanagement.net skonosepeople.com so with that my phone number call me you can hit me directly if you're really just trying to get it on get right into into the A&R space no games let me hear your music. If your music is up to par, I'm going to make it happen for you. If your music is not ready, I'm going to keep it all the way a 1,000 with you and let you know that too. So, And I'm going to help you get your music ready if it's not. So it's not going to be a dead end if I don't you know, give you the green light to take you to the majors, but I'll help you if it's not ready. Okay. All right, that's what's up. So you heard that. He gave his information. So if you're serious about your career, you want to get make some things happen, this guy has an incredible resume. Hit him, you know what I'm saying, and 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 get it popping. You know, get it popping for real, not no BS. <laughs> and, and, and bro, let me let me slide this in if I can. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm gonna let you go, man. If I set up a meeting for you, if I help you get in a position, you gonna love me. But <laughs> if for whatever reason you don't get a deal, don't say Sco ain't treat you right. Just yeah. keep that relation. Keep that relationship. Because we can walk through another door. It took Kanye two and three, four times before he got signed. You know, exactly. a lot of times, yeah. man, a lot of times artists, man, go off emotion. And, man, this business, you have to you have to grow tough skin, man. Everybody is not going to feel what you're doing. But as long as you keep that door open and you keep that bridge, you know, connected, then, man, you can always revisit that situation. But if something don't work out for you the first time, don't throw your boy under the bus and say, man, I'm not, you know, doing good business. Because at the end of the day, bro, when I tell you, look, we're going to go in there and we're going to shoot our stick as hard as we can. If it don't work out, then we're going to figure out what we did wrong and we're going to come back and revisit that situation. So more of the story is be righteous on what you say about anybody, you know, that you might have to revisit that situation because there's not too many stand-up people in this music game, period. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right. So those are definitely wise words from a, a great businessman, and um, we definitely appreci- appreciate you taking the time to call in, man. No, nah, absolutely, man. I appreciate y'all having me, man, anytime, man. And, and also, too, you know, I got a lot of people who want to jump on your show. My brother Mario Winans, you know, we need to get him on here. You know, he's working on his new album. You know, my big brother Tony Draper working on a new film company, getting ready to drop something real hot. I mean, uh, my boy Conrad the Mushroom Bad Boy. I mean, it's a lot of people I want to bring to the show, man, because I think it's a wonderful show. I think it, it touches the people, and I'm behind it 100%. Wow, man. We would definitely appreciate that, man. We, we definitely get good. At any time, man, you know, we, our show is every Wednesday, 5.30 p.m. Eastern, 
you know, since 2007, man. We we we've been rocking out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all good, man. Let's let's do it. Um, also write that number down, man. If somebody contact you, need to get in touch with me. If they didn't get that number, send them my way, bro. Okay, no problem, man. We 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 appreciate it, man. And you know you you know you're welcome to call in any time, of course. All right, man. God bless y'all. All right, thank you. I want. All right, we had um, we just had Sco in the building, uh, music executive. He was telling us about his his site, uh, Temp Music Management. Make sure you go check that out. And we also had uh, Akon's new artist, Black Frost. Um, she's about to blow up the scene, y'all. For real, the music is crazy. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get into her song again. She has um, a, a, a song called Hula Hoop. She said they're doing a video for it real soon. So I'm going to get into that real quick. Uh, It's featuring Mr. Fab. Let's go. Wish they was you. 
If you feel like bringing them through, I won't be mad, I'm bad, but you're the baddest. If you ever start to feel overshadowed by my status, just know that what really matters is I treat you like you the one on the stage. And there's nothing that can get in our way. Holla at me, girl. You could be my girl, girl. I'll be where you are. Uh, I could be your fan. Man. You could be the star, I got my hands up. So what do you think is happening with this escort, girl? I have no idea. I no, you, you, know, you have a bunch of ideas. <laughs> and that part is apparent. I don't know exactly. So, I don't know exactly what's happening. But I know that whatever what do you it think? is, is completely inappropriate for you to be doing while you're in a So you don't know what's happening. Of course I don't know. I'm not physically there. To but whatever is whatever happening. Is, something is. Something definitely is happening, something right? Is. Radio.com every Wednesday, 5 30 p.m. Eastern with Mr. King and Holly High Def Daniels. Space Radio.com.